listen, you don't you don't want to bro your load too soon. We, we got we got a, we got a ways to go for this bro job. Uh, we're, we're throwing shares of Broforce from Free Lives is on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for fourteen bucks. We didn't get any special treatment for this. We got it through Humble because this goes on sale more often than you know your mom. When evil threatens the world, the world calls on Broforce, an underfunded, overpowered paramilitary organization. So this is Chair Acquisition, where we take a look at a game, we do a little bit of a roundtable, maybe poke at it with a stick, see what kind of things the devs should accuate out of there before it got released to the general public. We got the Chair Acquisition rating of chairness. One chair means that it's garbage, two chairs means that it's meh, three chairs means that it's pretty good, four chairs means that it's awesome. And we got our categories of doom, mixed with the working, shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So, to kick this off, I'll hand it off to our uh, guest this week. Mr. Mr. Mike Tehan, in his lovely, lovely hoodie, did Broforce make with working? Broforce on my uh, Ryzen 1700X, newly powered by uh, the 10, GTX 1060. Uh, it opened in a window and ran flawlessly. Uh, it did give me the Unity blue screen of Nope, mm. but um, I'm going to forgive it for that because it was only for a few seconds. Right yeah, on. Yeah, the the four four chairs. I don't know how we do that. These yeah, the, the 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 Unity bloop and noop is just a thing you got to deal with with the Unity five or the yeah Unity five games. Uh, it, hey, it beats the freaking Unity scream and nope. But anyways, yeah, you can you can check out the stream on Thursday. Uh, it's uh, it's the vods posted on YouTube, I believe. Uh, and you can see for yourself about the network multiplayer woes that will causing the chair to be dinged. Uh, I didn't run into the uh, windowed mode issue that Ven will go on about. Everything else worked. Uh, pro tip, though. If you have a controller paired as a Steam controller, make sure that you don't turn Steam, o Steam overlay off before playing this game. Oh, why why would that be a problem? That couldn't possibly affect anything. Crazy talk. Shh. No, no, no. But what, 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 what about you, Ven? Hey, man, over here oh, on... Yeah. I'm sorry, what was that, sweetheart? I was just gonna say, yeah, on on Fedora twenty six sixty four bit with the i seven six seven hundred K GTX nine eighty. Yeah. All right, on Tipsy Danger, the box of business, uh, Ubuntu seventeen ten kernel four fourteen whatever it is this week, nine eighty powered UHD displayed, um, Ryzen seventeen hundred, not an X. I'm not cool like empty man, old school. Um, yeah, I did have to manually set. The windowed mode via Steam launch options. I don't know. Maybe because I got four monitors and a very weird configuration between two video cards. Could be blamed on that. It does like to hang randomly with Steam overlay enabled. Found that out Thursday. Uh, Steam controller flipped out more than once. More about that in the control section. Online multiplayer. Somehow. Somehow. Managed to suffer from lag when I was hosting the damn game. I don't even know how that's fucking possible. I'm actually almost more impressed than I am angry about that. So, uh, it, it's playable. That's all I can say about it, man. It, it's playable. Yeah, so that that's three chairs for Mix with the Working. How about Shiny and Sounds, Ben? What did what, what you think about that? Um, short and sweet hipster pixel goodness, man. Nothing to really uh, poop on since it's all very well done. It's detailed. It's animated. Uh, if that's your thing, I kind of liked it. Character blindness, as we were talking about Thursday, that shit's so legit. It burns, man. Um, didn't really notice it had a soundtrack until I went back to edit the video. I was like, oh, yeah, all right. It got a, has a soundtrack. It's mostly <laughs> basically this show, but toned down a little bit. If we're going to be honest. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel comfortable, like, giving it more than working. And I, I think it looks really good for what they were going for. It's not lazily done and hipster pixel done right. What about you, Jay, baby? Yeah, character blindness is super real. And that, that's what dings at one chair, just because in, in a game where you're supposed to do some precision platforming stuff, um, if you can't see where you are, it gets a little, little difficult. Um, yeah, I, that said though, I like the, I like the aesthetic. I dig the character designs. They're all fun little pastiches of, uh, you know, known action eighties IP. Sometimes there's a little bit of nineties thrown in there. Sometimes there's a little, even a little bit of seventies just for good measure. But, um, uh, yeah, the, 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 the soundtrack, 
is just kind of there in the background. You don't really notice it all that much. Um, this game does not doesn't really win that many points on its presentation just because it's kind of meh. It's nothing new. We, we've seen these sorts of shooters before. Uh, but the, bre- the the real meat, meat of the game isn't in the presentation. So I'm just going to give it two chairs. It's going to score higher in the other sections. Spoiler alert. What about Empty? What do you think? Yeah, d- don't you love it when you go to download a hipster pixel game and it's like two gigabytes? Oh, hell yeah. You're like, those are some really, really high def, huge pixels Good that pixels. you got going on. Well, this game was only like 300 megabytes, which I consider pretty reasonable considering, you know, the uh, the level of detail they put into everything and all the little bits that go flying everywhere. Um, at first, I thought it kind of had like a metal slug type aesthetic, mm-hmm. but it, it's not really so much metal slug. Metal slug is much more clear, and the, the character blindness really is a thing when you start doing the multiplayer in this game. But, um, you know... It looks really nice. It sounds pretty decent. I I don't know. I turn the music off and just listen to the gunshots. And uh, uh, it's pretty good, I think. Yeah, all right. uh, So that's uh, that's two chairs for the shiny and the sounds. Um, What about controls? Um, I had no real issues with controls. Like I said, there's the... The Steam, the Steam controller thing is not the fault of the games. That is just how the Steam input system works. So I'm not going to ding any chairs for that. Um... It's actually relatively playable with uh, keyboard and mouse. You use the arrow keys and ZX to activate your A and B, just like you would an emulator back in the day. And uh, with the DualShock 4, everything works. All the mappings are sane. No real issues whatsoever. I'll I'll give four chairs for control. How did it work with the Xbox 360? (laughs) The Xbox 360 controller worked flawlessly. Oh, okay. Although the um, the mapping shoot to the X button was a little weird and uh, that, that, no that, no that's real a, that's issues, a very... especially, you know, you can learn a new controller layout in 30 seconds and then you just roll with it. I thought it was actually pretty yeah. tight for a, for an action platformer kind of game. Uh, all the like clinging yeah. to the walls and stuff. There's some times where you're driving around in a vehicle and you fall down in a pit and you can launch yourself out at the last second and cling to the walls. And all in all, I'd say the controls are... Very, very solid for a platformer. I had a decent time with it. Used the Areola controller, the Steamy controller. I've been forcing myself to use that instead of the uh, X clone. Uh, you know, I'll tell you this. When it's not being a complete butt about everything, uh, it's logically laid out out of the box with the Steam controller. No issues. Everything worked like expected. Again, when it's not being a butt because works with air quotes because you get overlay on soon as we get into the overworld map, it happened twice. Just lost its shit. Flipped the fuck out. And um, had to recover from that in a very non-graceful way. But yeah, outside of that, if you're just playing in single player, man, uh, no, no complaints whatsoever. All right. Well, that's three chairs for the controls. And let's put a bow on it. Empty, did you have fun playing Force? I actually had a great time. I've I've owned this game for like a year and a half, and I never played it. And when I fired it up and got through the first level, and there was gore flying everywhere, and you jump on the helicopter, and the whole level explodes for no reason, I was like, "This this is surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be." Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I had I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, the ca- I've, so I played it before we uh, started looking at it for the chair acquisition at, at a friend's house. We were doing couch co-op, and that works relatively fine. It's pretty fun going through um, and blowing things up in waves of hipster pixely nightmare fuel. Um, and the online mode is a little buggy. I don't know. I haven't been able to replicate the issues I was having on Thursday. It looks like whatever that was, it may have been like a Toronto regional server thing. Because now the server list shows up, I can just join games with no real issue. Um, and even, even, and when it does work, network multiplayer is a blast. This is a great game to play with friends, and even single player um, was was really solid. I uh, it's it's just like a Mega Man style shooter with the uh, the entire environment being destructible, so it's it's all good funs. And the character design is good. It has a nice sense of humor about itself. The announcer just kind of goes completely hog wild and eventually just stops being entirely in like comprehensible. Starts screaming blah, blah, or whatever, and um, it's it, it's good fun. I, I dig it. 
Yeah, um, man. I mean, multiplayer, listen, uh, we spent like a solid 20 minutes. Now, right now, if we hopped into the after shows and did it right now, it would probably work. But we threw it a curveball. We put hard mode on it because we had M. Fox Dog in that business from Space Australia. And I'm sure that confused the hell out of it, trying to get that timing down. Um, yeah. 250 millisecond pings are killer. I'm telling you, man, that sucked a lot of fun out of it for me. That 20 minutes was like, why can't we connect? Why can't we connect? Then we connect and Jordan rightfully didn't hit the keyboard. He was like, damn controller should work, which a hundred percent it should. Then he had the aha uh-huh moment. It was like, motherfucker. All right. So, um, I think this is really better suited for local co-op party game. I could see that where we can just sit the fuck down and play it right then. Uh, did I have a good time with it? Mm, you know, uh, didn't hate it, but it really doesn't do anything new. I've played games like this before. I can't say I played better, but this is a fuck around game and I, I enjoy them. They're not bad. I do like the parody characters and I do like the humor, but I don't know if that would sustain it for any type of other than, hey, let's, uh, uh, not endorsing this, but let's get fucked up and play this for a hot second and go do something else. Thanks to the magic of post production, this all looks fine. Uh, Fun gets a big ol' two chairs. Um, Tally all that up. Broforce gets two chairs total. The Strider. In spite of that, I'd say throw an asteroid on there. Because this is a fun game. I, I would recommend this to people. I think, MT, you're, you're of a similar mind? Absolutely. There there was a moment in the game where uh, it, it kind of zooms in on one of the suicide bombers in the tower. And it flashes yeah. back and shows his whole little life story growing up. And uh, I don't, I don't want to spoil the ending for you, but it really um, speaks well to the sense of humor that this game has. So that they were willing to I, throw a silly little aside in there like that. One of the things we do have to ask, Maybe. if it's not on sale, is this worth the iron price at fourteen ninety nine? That's a little steep. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's a it's a it's a little steep. Um, you can get it on humble for often pay what you want, but if you're if you're just gonna go out and buy this game, uh, I would say if you got people locally to play with, then yes, fourteen ninety nine, go for it. Hmm. Also, if, if you not, like then... bloody gory, funny shooters, you know, platforming shooters, if that's that's your kind of game, then maybe it is worth fifteen bucks. Hmm. Could be, and I, uh, I think what hurt this game is technic technical shit, man. I mean, not the game itself. It's just it, it's got some rough around the edges, especially for something that's been out as long as it has. Yeah, especially with the online multiplayer, mm-hmm. they really they really could have done a bit of a better job with that. Especially but for a game that all, is all, basically designed around it. Yeah, but all things considered, the core gameplay mechanics are hella solid. the The humor is good stuff. The visuals are passable. I I, I would give this a solid recommend. Go go check this out. Wait wait till it goes on sale, but definitely grab it. <laughs>